Hey guys, welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. I recently covered why I think pillar and ceiling base plates are the best way to start off a build, and that video led to quite a few questions regarding the pillar trick. It's something I've used for a long time and explained in certain videos, but I've never made a dedicated guide, therefore that's what we're doing today. So what is the pillar trick? It's a technique that manipulates the snap points of stairs and pillars to allow you to place pillars off-grid, usually in corners. Firstly, I'll go over the technicals behind the pillar trick, as I think it is very important to know how this works. Firstly, let's take a look at this 3x3. These tiles have a stability socket in the centre of each tile, which therefore establishes the standard stability grid. Without any manipulation, these are the only sockets that can accept pillars. However, with the pillar trick, we can manipulate this grid to place pillars where they should not go, therefore creating side sockets. Depending on how you use this trick, pillars can sit in any of these places. Something important to know is that a side socket, like those created with this trick, can't pass stability to an off-grid tile. In this example here, if I remove the red pillar, both ceilings would stay where they are. If I remove the bottom green pillar, everything would collapse, with the side socket offering no stability. The side socket pillars here are essentially independent of the core structure. You can use side sockets to create new stability grids, but that's something I would consider once you're comfortable with the pillar trick. Also, without mods, the pillar trick won't work properly with foundations. It can work with the pillar and ceiling base plate, and you can get it to work with fence foundations if you place the pillars beforehand. As a rule, you always want to do the pillars before any walls or fence foundations, and I'd say best practice is to use the pillar trick with pillar and ceiling base plates. So with the technical aspects covered, how do you execute the pillar trick? Well, it is shockingly simple. Stairs have an unusual socket right at the top, and that's what we'll be using to manipulate these pillars. Bear in mind this method will not work with arena stairs, or any other foundation style stair piece. So from your starting tile, place a staircase. Place a pillar on the end, and if you want it to sit here, run it into the ground. If you want the pillar in the corner, Build another pillar above, place a ceiling atop that pillar, place stairs facing the corner you're aiming for, place the final pillar, and then run it all the way into the ground. From here, you can then clean up by removing the stairs and excess pillars, and as long as your final pillar is firmly wedged into the ground, you are good to go. From here, you can repeat this as much as you want, or if your build isn't too big, you can use ceilings to bridge across and build another pillar down into the ground and then remove the ceiling bridge. As I mentioned earlier, I highly recommend building the pillars after the base plate, but before you put down any walls, otherwise trying to do this retroactively without mods is incredibly frustrating. Something else to keep an eye out for is that some pillars can rotation lock other pieces. This means that if you try to place, for example, a door or a window next to a side socketed pillar, you might not be able to rotate that item you're trying to place, and it can get stuck facing the wrong way. To fix that, there are two viable solutions. Firstly, if you have the Riders of Hyboria DLC, you can use the stable pillars. They're the thinnest pillars in the game and don't cause rotation lock, so either replace the problematic pillars or build the pillars in the first place with the stable pillars. You'll then be able to place your doors and windows down as normal, and of course, you can then replace the stable pillars with the pillars you actually wanted to use when the build is near complete. Alternatively, wall pieces can't be rotation locked. If you only build wall pieces, you can then replace them with the doors and window pieces that you wanted to use in the first place, and the replacement option won't be rotation locked because the wall isn't. The pillar trick is one of my favourite things in Conan. It definitely has some quirks, but it's an incredibly useful trick to know, if only for aesthetics. To recap, to help with the learning process, something that I used to think of when I was learning this trick to make sure I didn't forget the proper order is this. Base plate, stairs, pillar, pillar, ceiling, stairs, pillar to ground. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have, hopefully I've earned your subscription. Every like, comment or sub does really help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed Coffee Cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.